All right, guys, so I came across another one of these videos about Tesla Powerwall 3, how this is the, the, the greatest thing since sliced bread. Uh, I'm gonna dig into this video and give you my take on it. Is this all hype or is this a real game changer? The smarter way to go solar. The Tesla Powerwall 3 is so good, I'm expecting all the other manufacturers to start copying it. And that's a great thing whether you choose Tesla for your home battery or not. Let me take you through all the latest details and explain why. In my last video where I announced the availability of the Powerwall 3 in the UK, I promised you a more in-depth analysis of the product, including all the latest announced features. This is that video. And even if you're not a Tesla fan, or you think their battery products are overpriced, it's worth watching because the Powerwall 3 is now the new benchmark for home battery systems. Okay guys, again, you know, been lots of hype, lots of anticipation leading up to the Powerwall 3 launch. First units have already been installed now. We've got some good feedback coming in from installers. Let's see what this guy's got to say about it. About it, whether you like Tesla or not, they make solid products. The Powerwall 2 was introduced into the market over eight years ago, an eternity in the world of solar. And even today, it remains the standard by which all other home batteries are measured. That's a testament to Tesla's engineers. They consistently get things right first time. And that's proven with over 600,000 units sold to date with no notable in-life issues. Yeah, and that's consistent with what I've heard from installers, uh, installers that were signed up to be certified installers of the second generation Tesla Powerwall 2, is that the rate of, basically the, the service rate, the rate that they have to send technicians back out after the initial install was lowest with Tesla Powerwall 2 compared to other battery systems that are available. Let's go back to the video. And now Tesla has upped its own game, incorporating all of that insight from all those deployed units over all those years to bring you the Powerwall 3. Tesla described Powerwall 3 as designed by installers for installers. And you only need to watch this video from Spirit Energy in the UK to see why. Now this is absolutely right. The first and second generation solar home batteries that came out, a lot of these batteries looked great on paper. They offered great capabilities to the homeowner, but they were very difficult and cumbersome to install, which means in many cases, the installers were losing money selling solar and battery systems. I had many installers tell me off the record, they would rather not have to deal with batteries at all if they could avoid it. But because that's kind of where the market's going, they figured they have to offer the batteries. But many of them, again, off the record, would prefer to just not have to install batteries until this latest generation. Let's continue. Spirit Energy is a Tesla premium partner in the UK, and they've installed nearly 240 Powerwall 2s last year. It's not surprising then that Colby Hastings, the director of residential energy at Tesla, flew over to speak to Spirit Energy and other installers about what features and capabilities they'd like to see in the Powerwall 3. Tesla is always listening to the market in order to develop the best product market fit for their own products. And all of this means that buying a product from Tesla is a low risk decision. Yeah, but what about the price? Don't worry, we'll come to that later. Let's first talk about capacity and power. As we know, the Powerwall 3 has a capacity of 13.5 kilowatt hours, which Tesla believes is more than enough for most residential properties across the world. And it has a power output of 11.5 kilowatts, which again will cover most residential requirements. I, I agree with that. Now that's why I can appreciate the elegance of the design here. This is not gonna be a battery that meets every need for every consumer, especially the higher end consumer that has larger homes with more powerful electrical loads and, and a higher amperage electrical service. But I think a single Tesla Powerwall 3 paired with solar is gonna be sufficient to meet the needs of probably 60 to 75% of typical US homes. Let's continue. And don't forget, the Powerwall 3 is able to provide a peak power of around 30 kilowatts for a short time. And that's enough to handle clothes dryers and AC units when they start up. If you need more capacity and power, then you can simply add two Powerwall 3s together to double the capacity to 27 kilowatt hours and also double the power to 23 kilowatts. 
you can actually stack up to four Powerwall 3s together on a single phase for a total capacity of 54 kilowatt hours and a power output of 46 kilowatts. Now, one thing you didn't mention here is that once you go to multiple Tesla Powerwall batteries, you're not gonna be able to take advantage of the Tesla backup switch, which is their meter collar adapter, which I think is one of the most innovative parts of the Powerwall 3 ensemble, if you will, is that with a simple meter collar adapter, you can wire the home for whole house backup without having to modify any of the internal house wiring, which again, I think is a big thing for installers in terms of keeping the installation efficient and profitable. But now, if you only need the extra capacity and not the extra power, there is a cheaper way using what Tesla called DC expansions. Instead of adding another Powerwall 3, you can add a DC expansion, which is the same as a Powerwall 3, but with some of the expensive electronics removed. This doubles the capacity to 27 kilowatt hours, but keeps the power output to 11 and a half kilowatts. So basically the DC expansion is another Powerwall 3 with battery storage, but without the inverter module, right? You're just adding on storage capacity. You're not adding on inverter power output capacity. You can add up to three DC expansions to a Powerwall 3 like so, giving a total capacity of 54 kilowatt hours. And if you really want, you can stack up to four Powerwall 3s, each with three DC expansions, to give a whopping 216 kilowatt hour capacity and a total power output of 46 kilowatts. Wow. Now some of you will already have a Powerwall 2 home battery and you'll want to know if you can add a Powerwall 3 to it. Right now you can't, but there is good news on the horizon. An update is planned for early next year, if not before, so that you can mix and match Powerwall 3s with 2s. Finally, I'd hoped by now that Tesla would have confirmed the battery chemistry was LFP, but to date Tesla hasn't made any public comment on that as far as I'm aware. That said, many installers, including Spirit Energy in the video mentioned earlier, are stating Powerwall 3 chemistry is indeed LFP, and so I'm now fairly confident it is. If Tesla just happens to be watching this video though, it would be great to have a categorical statement on this, given that many customers have a requirement for LFP chemistry. You know, this question has been coming up over the past several months. Uh, I, I suspect Tesla has purposely not published the battery chemistry simply to create the kind of buzz and the kind of speculation that we're experiencing here right now. But based on what I've seen of the specs, based on the size, the volume, and the capacity of the battery and the weight of the battery, uh, it is an LFP chemistry battery. Let's go back to the video. Okay, let's talk now about emergency power supply or EPS. The Tesla Powerwall 3 is able to power all your home appliances in the event of a power cut. And for this, it will need to be connected to one of the following devices. A Tesla Backup Gateway 2, which is able to do both partial and whole home backup. And this has been around for some time with the Powerwall 2. A Tesla Backup Gateway 3, which is a new, simplified and less expensive Gateway 2. Now the Gateway 3 only supports whole home backup, but this is the direction Tesla is going in and actually how most people want to use the product. And there is a third option for the Powerwall 3 in the form of a Tesla backup switch, which attaches directly to the meter design used in the USA and some other locations. The backup switch makes for an even cheaper and more straightforward install and it was born out of Tesla's designed by installers for installers philosophy. Now even if you don't require EPS operation, currently you still need to buy one of these devices for your Powerwall 3, but I have been informed Tesla is working on a software update allowing it to operate without any external hardware and therefore lowering the cost. Now one comment that keeps cropping up is what's the point of having EPS if your Powerwall 3 will drain itself in just over an hour given the higher power output? I think these people are completely missing the point. Whenever there's a power cut, your Powerwall 3 will automatically and seamlessly take over the grid to power your home. You'll only know this has happened when you receive a message on your smartphone telling you about the power cut. And at that point, you can go around your home and turn off all the non-essential appliances, which will reduce your overall power requirement and therefore allow your home to be powered for far longer. Yeah, but what about the price? Okay, I hear you, and we will be talking about that soon. We're ready now to talk about the built-in solar inverter. And this is one of the biggest differences between the Powerwall 3 and the Powerwall 2. Traditionally, a solar system comprises three main parts. 
one or more solar arrays to generate DC power from sunlight, an inverter to convert that DC power into AC so that it can be used by the home, and a home battery to store some of that energy for later use. With Powerwall 3, the inverter is now integrated with the battery in a single unit. And while a typical traditional inverter only supports two arrays, or strings as they are referred to, the Powerwall 3 supports up to three in countries like the UK. And in the USA and some other countries where roof designs are more complex, Powerwall 3 can support up to six separate arrays. It's also worth noting that arrays can be oversized by up to 170% as well. And if you're not familiar with what that means, I cover array oversizing in this video here. By having the solar inverter integrated into the Powerwall 3, it again makes for a quicker and easier installation. The unit is quicker to mount, wire and commission. There's no additional solar inverter to install, and it also reduces the risk of installer error. Yep, this guy's, this guy's spot on, right? So all of these things, simple integrated design, less equipment to manage, less risk of installer error, less individual items to manage for the, the contractor in the warehouse, all of that translates to a faster, more profitable battery installation, as well as an aesthetically cleaner looking final product for the homeowner. Let's go back to the video. Again, Tesla's principle of designed by installers for installers in action. We're already seeing solar equipment prices falling over the last few years, including panels, inverters and batteries. But Tesla are looking to reduce the installation costs as well. The quicker and easier the installation, the less cost it is for the consumer. Even better, more and more electricians will become approved installers, which will also bring down costs for the consumer through healthy competition. By the way, if you're getting a lot from this video, please don't forget to like and subscribe. This all helps get more reach for my videos so that more and more people can benefit. Thank you. So what if you want to use Powerwall 3 with an existing solar installation? or you wish to use microinverters instead of a string inverter. By default, the battery inside Powerwall 3 is in a DC coupled configuration, directly linked to the built-in solar inverter. But that inverter can be disabled, allowing Powerwall 3 to simply act as an AC coupled battery, which is exactly how the Tesla Powerwall 2 battery operates. And the great thing about an AC coupled battery is that this can be added to any kind of solar installation even those with microinverters. If you're not sure about the difference between DC and AC coupled battery operation, I cover this and more in this video here. A few additional features and capabilities then before we get to pricing. The first is active thermal management. Tesla recommends Powerwall 3 is installed in a garage or outside the property. And this raises the question of how it will perform in both very low and very high temperatures. Tesla has actually redesigned the thermal management system of the Powerwall 3 based on the technology used in their Tesla Model 3 electric vehicle. This means that the Powerwall 3 can easily operate in temperatures as low as minus 20 degrees Celsius, minus 4 degrees Fahrenheit, and as high as 50 degrees Celsius, 122 degrees Fahrenheit, which should be good enough for most parts of the world. Now, I know my friends in Texas aren't going to necessarily agree with that. Also, some of you folks out there in Arizona, if they're saying that 122 degrees Fahrenheit is the upper end of the operating temperature range, that could be problematic. I know temperatures even inside garages in some of the places like Texas, Arizona, Las Vegas uh, could exceed that 122 Fahrenheit. So I'm hoping that that's not a hard limit, but more of a recommended limit. Let's go back to the video. Okay, so I promised that we'd talk about the pricing of Powerwall 3, so let's deal with that now. In the UK at the moment, the cost is £5,500 for the battery, but you also have to spend £800 on the gateway, which is mandatory for the moment, and then there's the installation costs on top of all that. There's no doubt about it, it's an expensive battery, especially compared to all the competition that's now out there. So here are my views on the pricing, and of course your views may well be very different. Whatever product you're buying, whether that be smartphones, sneakers or solar equipment, there are premium brands and also budget brands. I regard Tesla as a premium brand, and premium brands can and do of course command premium prices. Why is Tesla a premium brand? Well the evidence is in their products. Their products are consistently well ahead in features and capabilities than the rest of the market. 
and perhaps even more important, their products just work. In the case of Powerwalls, once they're installed, they don't really need any further attention. All right, I don't think this guy has to excuse the what he's calling the high price. I think compared to other battery systems that are at that tier from, from leading solar brands like Tesla, Solar Edge, Enphase, or even Franklin Whole Home Battery, if you look at the total cost of the installation for a Tesla Powerwall system, again, with that integrated battery inverter design that is faster and more profitable to install, I think what you're gonna find is Tesla Powerwall 3 is actually gonna be in the middle or at the lower end of the price spectrum compared to a full service whole home battery installation using one of those other three brands, I think the Tesla product is very, very cost competitive. Now, if you're talking about some of this generic Chinese stuff that people are buying it and they're, they're doing like doing these do it yourself battery installs, of course that stuff's always gonna be cheaper, but who knows if it's gonna work five years from now or if the company's even gonna be in business. So I think, I think personally Tesla Powerwall 3 at that price Great value. They'll operate for years without any issues. And it's the same for Powerwall's EPS capability. It's all automatic, and again, it just works when you need it. And people are prepared to pay extra for that. Having said that though, there is plenty of choice in the home battery market today, and some manufacturers have great products at great prices. For example, I have a Give Energy battery system, which has worked flawlessly ever since it was installed more than a year ago. Now it doesn't surprise me that the Powerwall 3 being a new product will likely be priced higher initially in order to control demand. But over time, especially with Tesla's ambition to accelerate the world's transition to sustainable energy, I can see prices coming down a lot, if for no other reason than economies of scale. Just look at this chart, which shows Tesla's energy storage stats over the last few years. This year, in just two quarters, they nearly surpassed everything they did in 2023. And that was already twice what they did in 2022. This is a company that is hell-bent on pushing the market forward. Well, folks, I think Tesla Powerwall 3 is gonna be hard to beat. Technically, significant advancements, significant innovations in how easily and more profitably the installation can take place. F frankly, I think this is the first battery product or the first generation of battery that installers enthusiastically, enthusiastically want to deploy and install because they can finally do it predictably and profitably. And I think for that reason, you're going to see it become a very, very popular option. Um, I'm going to be excited. And of course, we'll be covering what what Tesla's competitors have to offer. Companies like Franklin, SolarEdge, Enphase that also have great top tier home battery systems, what their response might be uh, to the Tesla Powerwall 3 and its growing popularity. Well, folks, that pretty much does it for today's reaction video. Uh, as always, if you're getting good value from the videos you watch on Solar Surge, make sure you hit that thumbs up uh, and also hit that subscribe button as well if you haven't done so already. That way, as we have new videos coming up, it'll come up on your homepage and you can stay up to date with us. Now, of course, if you're a homeowner out there, if you're looking at different solar and battery backup options for your home, uh, if you need to get a quote from any of the leading battery options that we talked about today, uh, as always, feel free to reach out to us on the link below there, set up a call with a solar expert, uh, or you can just use the free online quote tool to see how much solar and battery storage costs in your area. But that pretty much does it for today's video. I thank you all for spending some more time on the Solar Surge channel. And as always, I'm Joe Ordia here, encouraging you to get prepared and be empowered. Thanks for watching and we'll see you on the next video. All right, I hope you're getting some great value from today's video content. Now, if you would like to have your business or product or technology featured on the Solar Surge channel, we can help you do that. Feel free to use the link below to set up a call with our media team so that we can discuss your marketing goals and how Solar Surge can help you get there. Solar Surge is the leading online community in the US residential solar and energy storage space. And so if you would like to have your business or product or technology introduced to our audience, we can help you do that. Uh, again, feel free to reach out to us on the link below to set up a call with our media team or email media at solarsurge.net.